morning. <laughs> yeah. Get the environmental comes up. Yeah. I was gonna ask you about uh, tick problems with dogs. Oh yeah, I got some stuff there. Up in my office and that. Maybe I can meet you then with the dam tomorrow. Sit down and talk about it, eh? Yeah, that's good, yeah. No worry, brother. I'll see you there. Yeah. Well, if you've got a big one of ticks on your dogs or that, yeah. you can just sort of pull them off, you know. But you need to do it every two to three days because if they keep getting worse, the ticks can suck your dog's blood in there. Mm. And that's called anemia. And that makes a dog really weak and tired. It makes it, all the puppy dogs real sick too. There's also, there's also flea collars too, like this. You can get them from the shop. Well, you'll have to have the shop, keep it there. Yeah, you'll have to probably get them in from in town, from big pet stores and all that. Mm. With dog collars, make sure they are not too tight around your dog's neck. You should be able to fit two fingers underneath the flea collar around its neck and like with them flea collar you if you've got to take him swimming or that maybe you have to take that collar off because if it goes in the water you wreck that collar it won't work because it's got stuff inside what's sort of working on them ticks and that mm. but they work good and they keep your dog healthy and that too they're good stuff mm. just Check out your store, if nothing, ask them to get it in for you. But there's also other stuff too, you know. That, that would tick, you know. For ticks and mm -hmm. fleas and that. Top spot. There's that's another. Top spot. Yeah, that's a good one, that one. You just sort of put it on his back of his neck there, so they can't lick it off or that. Mm. It's like a little bit of medicine, just like like liquid and you put it on the back of his neck and it spreads all over his body kill all his fleas and ticks mm. you can also use shampoo shampoo your dog yeah. give him wash and that give him bogey and let him have sort of scrub his scrub him down and that mm. but maybe you have to ask your shop to get a lot of things in like that you know if they haven't already got them. Yeah. I just think, you know, like that shampoo might help them for that hair, keep the hair on. Yeah, that shampoo helps keep all the mange away and that too. Mm. And fleas and mostly ticks and fleas. other stuff too what we give him for mange and worms and that you give it to him on the bread it's called ivermectin they eat, put it on the bread and give it to them it goes in their inside kill all the worm and kill all the scaby mites and all that too now you get the the pet or you can get your environmental health workers they know how to do the training the pet shows them how to do it yeah, we can get a program, maybe have to talk to environmental health workers or maybe a vet come out to your community. We can talk to them and try and get a program up and running to help the, all the community dogs and that. A few things to remember about using collars and medicines for your dog. Watch out that your kids don't touch the flea collar as it can make them sick. Always wash your hands after touching the flea collar or putting the top 
spot medicine on your dog's neck. When you wash your dog, make sure you wash them all over underneath as well, not just on top. Remember, once you have got rid of the ticks and fleas, they can still keep coming back later on. You need to use top spot medicine every month and wash your dog every week to stop them getting ticks and fleas again from other dogs. Remember, ticks and fleas can live in bedding, so hang your bedding out in the sun and wash them every week. If you have any problems, talk to your vet or environmental health worker about treating your dog with ivermectin. They have special training on how to use this medicine for dogs.